What's up, y'all? I'm Kayvon Thibodeau, and we're here at Athletic Games in Santa Monica, California, and we're gonna be getting into a little bit of a lower body workout. Training is a big part of what I do. Playing in the NFL is a very strenuous sport. You gotta be in top shape, and you're going against other guys, so it's extremely competitive, and you gotta be in the best shape possible to perform at the highest level. Thibodeau got there, got the ball out, scooped it and scored, touchdown! A few goals for today's workout will be working on the lower body explosiveness, your core, engaging it, making sure you're getting all the way down, and making sure you really hit every range of motion possible. My main mindset with going into this workout is not only to have a stronger lower body, but to also transition between workouts and through movements as fluid and as smooth as possible. Playing football, there's a lot of weight and you have to be able to transition that from side to side, up and down and forward and back. All right, that's enough talking, let's do it. So to start, we're gonna warm up with some band work. We're gonna start off with 10 squats where we're getting our hips activated and getting our lower body activated. Next, we're working on stability in the knees and the ankles and flexibility within those same areas. And we're gonna go each leg, we're gonna move it out about 10 times and then we're gonna do both. We're gonna open up our hips and continue to warm up. Feel the burn, you feel burn in your glutes, in your hips, in your quads. Next, we're gonna go into a little bit of a deeper hip activation. We're gonna have our legs straight. This is also working on balance. It's working on your core stability, making sure that you tighten it up and you have balance between your body. So we're gonna go 10. And now this is definitely work on, this is kind of a runner's pose. We call this, it's like a high knees. You're bringing it up, you're keeping your core stable, you're keeping your hips stable, you're activating your glutes, and you're gonna come up and you wanna make sure that you're creating that form within your arms. You wanna make sure you're in a runner stance so it's always opposite arm, opposite leg when you're going up, practicing football movements, but while you're still just warming up. That's a great warm up. Now we can start the workout. It's super set. So you don't just do one workout, you do multiple workouts in conjunction. Kettlebell swings. This workout is a little bit upper body, but it should be mostly lower body. So when you go down, you wanna make sure you put your hips back, right? So it's kind of like RDL motion. And then when you come up, you wanna pop your hips forward and swing it up. You don't wanna bring it higher than your head because you don't wanna activate your shoulders. You wanna activate your core and you wanna activate your glutes, making sure you're bringing it through. We're gonna do eight of these. The motion that is getting those hips involved, getting that back involved, and getting that core involved. If you're using a lot of shoulders, you're doing it wrong. We're gonna do a sideways lunge. We're gonna have one kettlebell. I'm using the 45, use whichever one you wanna use or whatever one you feel comfortable. But the point of the workout is to not only get as low as possible in the squat, but then use power and stability to bring yourself back up and come to a high runner stance. Keeping that core engaged, keeping that hip engaged. We're gonna do five of these. You should feel it in your hands, you should feel grip, but you don't wanna lift it. You wanna keep it there and um, making sure that all of the power is coming from your lower body. And you wanna make sure that you're transferring weight. It's all about being fluid. So although the kettlebell is on our right side, when we go down to a squat, you wanna transfer to your left when you go down and then come back up. When you're going against bigger guys like myself or you're going against somebody like old lineman, you gotta understand that your body has to be able to control these weights on the way down and transfer power on the way up. So now we're going into a little bit of a full body workout. This is gonna be a lunge with a rotation, right? So we wanna be able to activate the core while still holding the lunge position. So you're still doing a lower body workout, but you're bringing in that abs, you're bringing in the core, and you're making sure that you stay stable when transferring that power within your upper body. And the key is to breathe. A lot of people don't understand, you know, everybody tries to power through it and you try to hold your breath. That's something that we all do. But the more you start to learn to breathe, the easier these workouts will become. So next, we're moving on to the power plate. We're still focusing on lower body, but this is gonna vibrate while I'll do some RDLs. And why I do these, I'm lengthening, my lower body, my hamstrings, and I'm also creating stability within my knees and my ankles. I'm creating length between the back of my body because what people don't understand is just as much as you want the front of your body strong, you can't miss out on the back side. So making sure your glutes, making sure your hamstrings, making sure your calves, and making sure your back is all just as strong as your front. So next, we're gonna do a little bit more of a power workout. It's gonna be full body. We're gonna do a kettlebell front squat where we hold the weight up and we do squats. We wanna focus on our depth in our squat and we wanna focus on the power coming up and our hips coming through. Making sure we keep our core tight and our butt forward. And sometimes I like to even do it like this if you're really feeling strong.
I love to end with a stretch, right? We just worked out a lot of lower body. So now we're gonna do a sumo squat and we're gonna come up and we're gonna make sure we do like some good mornings, like it's yoga. So you wanna start with a wide base. You wanna go down, grab your toes, squat, bring your arms up, stand. We'll do five of these. Squat, look up, bring your arms up, stand. Every time I finish a workout, I always like to think on what did I get better at today, right? So today, we focused on a lot of explosion, a lot of lower body, and a lot of stability, making sure that we kept the strength. Although it may have seemed hard, make sure you continue, continue to work at it as each day will get easier. But once it gets too easy, make sure you keep striving for more greatness.